Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you for subscribing. We're about to see more of this, so thank you for building this weather community uh, with taking the time uh, to be a subscriber. Now, this a little unusual for this time of year, and I want to show you some very, very unusual water temperatures, some new information on that ahead, but really four tropical waves we're watching. This is the next one. Now, this is way off here on the coast of Africa. You see a big blob right here. It's going to diminish some as it moves off. This is that tropical wave we were watching yesterday, still hanging together. But for this time of year, these are unusual. Not so much that we're seeing tropical waves. That part's normal, but just how um, healthy they are, if you could put it that way, how much rain and storms are with these. I don't expect them to necessarily develop, but to see tropical waves uh, this relatively strong this time of year, that's a little unusual. Hopefully that's not a crazy sign of things to come. But as these march across, They'll eventually bring more rain and we've been seeing some rain getting closer to some areas. Here are the four tropical waves. Here's that one near Guyana and Suriname now. That'll bring an increased chance of rain near Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago. I'll get into that. Here's that diminishing first tropical wave of the season. Still some heavier rain around and flooding rain parts of Costa Rica and Panama. I'm going to zoom down and I want to go island by island with some of the rain totals as you hang with me. But we have these four tropical waves, none showing signs of development, but it is uh, does have my attention and how uh, healthy these are as they come off the coast of Africa. Now, what's going on here? I want to get into the very unusual water temperature. So this is the broad picture. Here we are in the Caribbean. Here's uh, Barbados, for example, Trinidad and Tobago, St. Lucia, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, just to kind of set ourselves here, big map here. This is the coast of Africa. Now, as these tropical waves move off, they run into some cooler water. The real warm stuff is back through the Caribbean and the Gulf, and I'll, I'll get into that. So these water temperatures out here about 24 25 degrees celsius about 76 77 degrees uh, uh, fahrenheit so not conducive for development so a little bit cooler out here uh, and that's what we usually see this time of year cooler temperatures out here but what is different is they're still running above average. They're not yet conducive for development, but the numbers, the water temperatures themselves are so above average. So it's not going to take too long uh, this season to see the water temperatures out here getting uh, to about 80 degrees Fahrenheit, which would be good enough for some development. You see this red in here? This is not only above average uh, water, well above average water temperatures out here for this time of year. We're running more like July with the numbers in some of the open waters of the Atlantic and then especially back in the Gulf. Now here's a crazy uh, map, a crazy uh, chart I should say. This is the Gulf of Mexico and this is taking us out in time here. I know this is a little hard to see. This blue line is plotting the temperatures in the Gulf of Mexico. The red line is last year and the black line is average. In the Gulf of Mexico we're running above average. You see this blue line here above average and above where we were last year in a big way. The numbers since, let me go down the scale, since early May have really, it's just really shot straight up. So the water in the Gulf of Mexico is so, so warm. Some of the readings near St. Petersburg, Tampa, uh, in the uh, eastern Gulf of Mexico, running near 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That is super warm. 30, 31 degrees Celsius. Now, much of the Caribbean, about 29 degrees Celsius, 84 degrees Fahrenheit, which is good enough for tropical development, but that's just one ingredient. There's a lot of wind shear, kind of crazy winds above our heads, preventing any development right now. But the issue will be is when those winds up above us relax, when there's not much dust or dry air around, and we get a little more moisture up there, in these water temperatures, things are going to flare up in a hurry this season. Maybe not the next week or two, but of course, as we go forward, things are in place for a very active hurricane season. It is going to be active. Doesn't mean something's going to hit us, though. There'll be a lot of named storms, and we'll see kind of just a storm by storm where these things will want to go. But you see some of the ingredients in place. Now, four tropical waves now. I mentioned that is normal. 55 to about 65. Uh, that's how many we get each season coming off the coast of Africa, uh, following the trade winds, the global wind pattern. And then as the season progresses, uh, we see those developing. But I do expect more of these waves to develop this year. And we're going to get way down the name list, especially as we get deeper into the season and we get into La Nina. I'll dive into that further in some uh, upcoming uh, videos. But let's get back to now the first tropical wave. 
that, that is right here, and it's just leaving some leftover moisture. I mentioned the wind shear, right, above our heads. Winds coming in the opposite direction, just kind of ripping off the thunderstorms. So no signs of organization out of this, but this has give, been giving us some rain. And then this here, not organizing either, but still some flooding rain near Guyana. And this little surge of moisture will give us an uptick in the rain near Grenada, Trinidad, and Tobago, northeastern Venezuela, especially tomorrow. And then again, even on Friday, some scattered showers. So let's track these two tropics waves together. We have this one here, heavier rain, Costa Rica, Panama, Nicaragua, and parts of Honduras getting closer, keeping an eye on Providencia, uh, San Andres, some of our islands here in the uh, Western Caribbean, and Jamaica. Scattered showers and storms are on. Not a big blob of rain, but scattered showers and storms. And then we'll see some scattered showers trying to get closer to Grenada, where we need some rain, and Trinidad and Tobago. Now, this is tomorrow. Generally the same setup. Scattered showers and storms, Jamaica. You see, it gets a little closer to Honduras and Nicaragua. Belize, way too many fires, horrible scenes, Honduras, Belize, Guatemala, Mexico, and elsewhere with the livestock dying just with the uh, heat, the lack of water, and we need some of this to move across. It's not quite yet, but on Friday, you see a buildup of rain here, so I do monitor that, and still that chance of some rain, Guyana, Suriname, Venezuela, spotty showers, uh, Barbados, Dominica, Guadalupe, and then as we work our way into Saturday, now I hope this pans out, there's a hint that we could get some extra rain trying to creep close to other parts of Central America watching Jamaica and we'll still see some of this rain around uh, watching over toward I should say Cuba Cayman Islands and Jamaica and some of this rain around as we work our way into Saturday the rain chance could actually pick up in some spots and then we'll keep an eye on another tropical wave that will get closer to the Eastern Caribbean so plenty going on so let me break it down right here in where we're going to see some of the flooding Costa Rica and Panama the next three days. Here's Providencia, San Andres, uh, get toward Nicaragua, El Salvador, and you see the rain chance. We're going to have, the rain chance is high, obviously. The next three days, we're going to have some totals of 150 millimeters of rain or six inches of rain, even higher. See these brighter colors that are off my chart? We could get some spots of 300 millimeters of rain, or that would be a foot of rain. Not for everyone, but in some areas of Panama and Costa Rica. Now, let me swing here. That moisture just kind of hanging out. It's scattered. So, Jamaica, uh, parts of Cuba, not as much Cayman Islands, but over toward Haiti, Dominican Republic, Turks and Caicos, and even Puerto Rico. If you get some repeat showers and storms, we'll have some spots over 75 millimeters of rain or three inches of rain. We can even see that near the British and U.S. Virgin Islands. Here's Anguilla, St. Martin, and St. Bart's, and then swinging down to the south less. Not as much Montserrat, for example, Sebastia. We may catch a, catch a passing shower, but that second tropical wave, that's what's going to move in as we get into really tomorrow and give us some scattered showers. So in Trinidad, we could see a few spots getting over 50 millimeters of rain or two inches of rain. Fingers crossed that happens. And then we'll see how much of this kind of creeps close to St. Vincent and the Grenadines and Grenada. Our rain chance at least gets a little higher. And there it is higher as we work our way into Venezuela. Here's Venezuela. Here's Trinidad, Guyana and Suriname still tacking onto the totals. We'll have some spots around 100 millimeters of rain or four inches of additional rain. And we've already had the flood around. Thank you for sending me the pictures and the information. You've been putting it in the comments. We've had a lot of homes taking on water the last several days in Guyana. Uh, so uh, keep me posted. We are we are thinking of you. Now, blow up of showers and storms, parts of Mexico, but still not widespread. Watching over toward Texas. There's that first tropical wave kind of getting tied into an old front here. Severe weather threat will be breaking out uh, back toward the Rocky Mountains. I'll show you that in a second. But as we work our way into Mexico, for the most part, and especially over toward the Yucatan and Belize, we're still dry, way too dry, just horrific problems with, with water, with livestock, with livelihood, period. Uh, so our, our friends were um, been mentioning rain. It's hard to mention uh, flooding rain, and then on the flip side, we're mentioning extreme drought. It's one extreme or another in the Caribbean sometimes. So as far as rain totals go, Mexico, not a lot. Little more around Mexico City. Heaviest rain watching uh, coastal sections of Nicaragua down to the south, back through Panama and uh, over toward Costa Rica, Belize, generally on the dry side once again. Now, watching some showers and storms building up into the uh, Rocky Mountains, there's Tropical Wave 1, Tropical Wave 2 kind of coming at us. No uh, development there. There are some of the scattered storms right there. This is by the time we get into uh, tomorrow. And then I'll just be watching throughout the week this area of rain to see how close it gets to us, how close does it get to Jamaica, Haiti, Cayman Islands, and hopefully some of this moisture will start to build back toward Central America. But those strong 
stronger tropical waves out there, that one coming off the coast of Africa. Now, as we get more and more, that's what I'm waiting on. So we need some rain and maybe a week or two in spots, but as those waves move across, they'll continue to work across further. So we just need to get that train going and it is, it is starting, at least there are four tropical waves now. Finishing up with one system, the Atlantic region of Canada, get over toward a Newfoundland today, watch it out for some showers, watch it out for some rain in the mid-Atlantic. This here is our afternoon into our evening. And then as we flip over into our Thursday, you can see some of that rain that's on the move. Uh, some of that rain trying to clip by parts of New England and then over toward Nova Scotia as we work our way into our Thursday afternoon. And then going from Thursday into Friday, spotty showers, not a big system uh, moving in, uh, but another chance of some showers on Friday in uh, Newfoundland. So scattered showers and storms in Jamaica, but that scattered pattern will be hanging around. So I hope some different spots get some rain. And that's one of the issues too. You may see some rain in the distance, but you may just be too dry. So hopefully in Jamaica, we could get some different spots getting rain. Let me know your location and what you've been getting around Jamaica as we build this weather community. It helps other people to see what we're getting or not getting. Cayman Islands, we're keeping it at 20% uh, right now. We'll see that blob of rain though getting closer. Now Trinidad and Tobago, we're going to see about a 40-50% chance of scattered showers, especially late today and tomorrow. Still not all of us will get the rain, so let me know what you get or don't get. Right now it's still back toward the east, but we're going to see that chance picking up. 30-40% to 40 chance in Barbados. Rain chance not quite as high in St. Lucia, a 20-30% to 30 chance. Then we uh, drifted to the south over toward Grenada. There we go, 50% chance of rain tomorrow. I hope we get it. I hope it doesn't just kind of miss us and move around us. And same thing, St. Vincent and the Grenadines the next two days. We have a 40% chance of scattered showers and storms, 30 to 40% chance in Martin, Martinique, about a 40% chance in Dominica, 30 to 40% chance the next few days. Guadeloupe, isolated shower chance, isolated shower chance, Antigua and Barbuda, Northeastern Caribbean, the rain chance is not as high, 20 to 30% chance St. Kitts and Nevis, 30% chance the next couple days, Anguilla and St. Bart's, 20% chance on Friday. Rain chance 30%, St. Martin, Saba and Stacia, and about a 40% chance in Puerto Rico. So some spotty showers and storms, but where we get some repeat ones, we could get some isolated areas of flooding. That'll be the same thing. U.S. and British Virgin Islands, not all of us are going to be getting some of the rain, but we're going to have some scattered showers. Dominican Republic scattered showers, Haiti scattered showers with that weakening tropical wave that is now overhead. Bahamas, we're on the hot side. 30% chance of rain the next two days. Turks and Caicos, it will be higher once we get into Friday. Belize, we are just, we talk talked about that. Way too dry. We are thinking of you. Uh, Aruba rain chance 10 to 20 percent, 10 to 20 percent chance. Uh, Curacao over toward uh, Bonaire. And then as we work our way into Guyana, that's where that rain chance stays on the higher side today. An 80 percent chance today in Guyana, a 70 percent chance in Suriname, 20 percent chance in Cuba, isolated storms possible and very hot. Costa Rica and Panama is highlighting that with a very high rain totals, even creeping up toward Nicaragua. Honduras rain chance 20 percent now, but that's going to tick up late week. Mexico City, 40% chance of some storms around for today, 10% chance at best across the Yucatan of Mexico. And tomorrow in northern Venezuela, about a 40% chance and a higher chance of rain in Bermuda. We'll see a front clipping by as we get into Friday, about a 60% chance. So relatively strong tropical waves. They're not super strong, but just for this time of year, they are definitely healthier. Water temperature, super warm, relatively speaking, against average. I was showing you that, and that will be a concern as we get into the upcoming season. As of now, the wind shear, though, is helping out. It's very uh, uh, kind of crazy above our heads, so nothing uh, development. But by the time we get into June, some of the wind shear should settle down, and we should get a surge of moisture in the atmosphere, and that would mean development would be more likely. And we're just a couple days away from hurricane season starting. So thank you for building this weather community. I see you sharing this uh, and getting those uh, su subscribers to this channel. I do appreciate that. Please be safe and I hope you have a good rest of your day.